So I tried to make this video yesterday, but it was a bit of a failure. Welcome back to my first video of 2022. I'm super excited to be back making videos and hanging out with you guys again. In this video, I've got a little present for all of you cannon shooters out there. You see, I've been working on these custom picture styles and I've been having so much fun shooting with them. So I just had to share them with you guys. Now the goal was to get this kind of filmic look straight out of camera onto your JPEGs. Something similar to what you have if you're shooting with a Fujifilm camera. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know that I've been playing around with some of these film emulation picture styles before, but I always found myself doing quite a bit of editing to those pictures before I felt that I was somewhat happy with them. Now, these picture styles that I've made is going to give you a way more distinct look. So let's head out and try these together, you and me. And we can take a look at some samples and talk a bit more about these presets. Or, sorry, I keep calling them presets. They're picture styles, technically. Well, anyway. There's a lot of these really interesting buildings around here, like this one. Kind of old industrial buildings uh, with a lot of, you know, character bricks and what have you. So it's kind of a nice place to go and look for, for shots. And all of these samples in this video is going to be straight out of camera. I might add some film grain to a couple of the shots just because I like it and uh, yeah. But the point is that you should be able to use these pretty much straight out of camera. Back there, there's one of the, the most famous buildings in, uh, in Malmö, the Turning Torso. Uh, let's see if we can get a good shot of the building from here. See it right there? Now the main profile in this pack, if you go ahead and download it, you will see that you will actually be getting three different ones but I'm not gonna spend too much time on the other two, but let's talk about the main one. And that's gonna give you kind of a soft dish look with soft colors, except the reds and the blue, which are a bit more pushed. And the, the curve on this profile and the other ones as well is kind of soft and more flat. And that will actually allow you to play around a bit more with the exposure. So you can do tiny pushes towards overexposure or underexposure to get a more creative look um, of course you can't go too overboard with this but there's there's definitely some wiggle room there I want to continue to share some presets and picture styles and lots with you guys so make sure to subscribe if you're into those kind of things I think these are a ton of fun to shoot with and I always try to treat them as if I was shooting with film and not do any heavy editing in post. So I try to constrict everything down to just cropping and maybe some straightening and of course adding some grain on some of the images because unfortunately there's no way of adding nice grain in camera. So I'm giving away these to you for free. It would be cool if you were to use them and post something on Instagram, if you were to tag me so I can head over and check it out. And for all of you that's never been playing around with these custom picture styles, I will leave a link at the end screen of this video to a video where I will guide you through the process of how you get these onto your camera so you can use them. Well. There will be a download link in the description of this video. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.